Kathmandu Valley is rich in both cultural and historic monuments. In the north of Pashupati, a huge stupa rises up from the city of Bodnat. In recent years, Bodnat, also referred to as Little Tibet, has become an important center of Buddhism. It is believed that the Tibetans established themselves here due to an ancient trading route that once led through this town and connected India with Tibet. Between the 17th and 19th centuries, Bodnat came under Tibetan jurisdiction. Since then, a large number of refugees have settled down here. In 1950, Tibet was occupied by the Chinese. This led to fierce persecution of Tibet's Buddhist community. That is why the Nepalese sanctuary of Bodhnath plays such an important role in the daily lives and religious belief of those Tibetans now living in exile here. The prayer mills at the base of the stupa turn almost incessantly. Even now the city is still home to one of the most important religious representatives of Buddhism. After the Dalai Lama and the Panchen Lama, the Chini Lama of Bodhnat is one of the most influential religious leaders in Tibet. Many legends are associated with this large stupa. It is thought that this sanctuary was not only built by the Tibetan people, but that it also forms part of an earlier building. It is possible that Niwa Buddhists abandoned the original sanctuary and that the Tibetans added to it at a later date. This is one of many theories. Another legend has it that the stupa was once a mighty shrine that was built above the grave of a lama who originated from Lhasa. The full facts will probably never be known, but it's clear that the building is distinctly different from each of the other stupas in Nepal. The three terrace base of the stupa that contains images of elephant riders is the most striking architectural contrast of all Bodnat's buildings. A 
further break with convention in the Bodnath Sanctuary is the absence of a typical shrine of the five mystic Buddhas. This stupa contains a modest amount of images, unlike most that customarily feature exquisite sculptures and ornate decoration, along with traditional cult illustration. But the building does contain a certain amount of symbolism. Its architecture hides a common yet complex system of religious images. On each of the four sides of the tower, the eyes of the omnipotent, all-seeing Buddha gaze down onto the believers below. The eyes are a typical peculiarity of Nepal. As a symbol of fire, the tower is in stark contrast to the hemisphere below that symbolizes the element of water. Thus, each basic element is immortalized in the stupa and has been added to the building according to its importance. A further interpretation of its design is that the top of the Buddhist sanctuary is a divine world or some kind of pure sphere. The five colors of the Tibetan prayer flags also possess a special symbolic meaning. They feature the elements of air, water, fire, sphere and earth. These traditional Tibetan prayer flags date back to the 11th century. They're meant to bring peace, harmony, sympathy, good fortune, happiness and longevity. Several flags contain sacred texts and prayers or mantras that serve as a source of blessing for the surrounding region and a source of healing. Religious inhabitants of the surrounding houses that were once the dwellings of silversmiths still benefit from the positive effects of this sacred monument. Forty meters high, the proud and unique stupa of Bodnas arises up into the sky and thus represents the largest single religious building in Kathmandu Valley.